Hello, my name is Eric Palmer, and I'm a volunteer board member here at the Gowing Community Theater. Today, I'm going to show you a little bit about our lights and what they look like in action. So, right now, I have this stage set up to what a show would look like before the show starts. I have some warmers on what would be the curtain if the curtain was closed. I have the house lights on, and then I have lights behind the curtain, again, if the curtain was closed. So the show would start off like this, and then the lights would go out, and then the lights behind the curtain would go out, and at that time, all set backstage and ready to go for when the show starts. So we have that, and then we also have our psych, which we can light, and we can light that in a multitude of di different colors. I have it red right now, and then it can also be can also be blue. The psych is used a lot in a lot of the shows that we do. Uh, most recently in Elf, it was used to project images to help you know where the scene was taking place. It can also be used um, with the lights that I showed in our last video and the gobos can be shined on that. We have this really cool one that's a moon and it looks really cool when it's blue back in the psych like it is right now and the moon is up. We use that for Into the Woods and that was a really cool look. Um, we also have lights that cover a lot of ground and those lights can be small like this or they can open up and you'll see right away when I hit this go button that they open up and shine all over the stage. And any of our lights that we use, we can have them do cool special effects. Right now I have it, those lights back down in a smaller lens and they are twinkling. And then I open them back up and have them twinkle as well. And I did something very similar to this when we had the Little Mermaid Jr. here. I just slowed down the twinkle and made it look like they were waves. So during a lot of the scenes when they were supposed to be in the ocean, those lights were faintly moving to kind of get the idea that they were underwater. We also have a spotlight, which I'll show you next. Okay, so this is one of our spotlights. We have two of these. During shows that we need spotlights, we have spotlight operators. They sit right here and hang out. They have a headset on, which is right here, and they listen for our stage manager to let them know when they have to have the spotlight ready. The spotlights are usually already aimed to where they have to go right when the stage manager says go, and they just lower this down, and then the spotlight is on, and then as the actor or actress is moving, you can move the spotlight and follow them and you can make the spotlight really big and a big circle and you can also make it different colors and that's the spotlight well folks that's it i hope you had fun learning a little bit about the lights we started off learning about how the light board operates and then a little bit about some of the lights that we use. And then today you got to see those lights in action. All of this stuff that happens backstage is really, really important. We're very lucky to have the things that we have here at the Gallion Community Theater. Um, personally, I love doing complicated shows like Into the Woods and The Little Mermaid and Les Mis. So I, I put a lot of heart and soul into the more complicated shows. Um, I try to really think deeply about what I think it should look like, but also what it should look like for a theater production. Um, and I take things from nature and things from maybe if it's like The Little Mermaid, which is in water, you know, just see how water looks and how it reflects with the light and into the woods. Uh, I went hiking and saw the the shadow that the leaves were casting over my arm as I was was hiking with some folks in the cast. Um, so all, all sorts of stuff like that. And again, 
we really, really are grateful for all the donations that everyone has given. And uh, if you haven't yet, please, please donate because we want to do some wonderful, cool things here at Galleon Community Theater, and we can't do that without you. All right, thank you.